what's going on everybody it is your favorite auntie mo and we are once again back for another episode review of tokyo tony's finding love asap y'all this is episode um five pass it to the left y'all and this episode by far was the funniest of all the episodes i thought last week was funny as hell when she had the motherfucker stripper for her but baby, last night's episode by far was the most hilarious episode, y'all. As always, before we get into the review, um, church announcements. If you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It don't cost you nothing at all. Let me know what you think about this video before you leave. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Either way it go, let me know. And um, also, hit that notification bell so you will know, bing, Auntie done uploaded some new shit. Let me go ahead and go over there, check it out, see what the hell she's talking about, okay? Y'all, so, I just want to give a quick parental discretion that there will be a lot of profanity in this review. Not necessarily coming from me. I was able to get some clips of last night's episode, and so I will be incorporating them in this video. Y'all know Tony old mouth, her mouth is filthier than mine, and I got a dirty ass mouth. Now, I, I, I know that, you know what I'm saying? I curse like a fucking sailor. But she does way more cursing than me. So like I said, parental discretion is advised. Don't watch this on loud at your job. Go ahead and put your earphones on because you're about to hear some shit. You're about to see some shit. So hopefully y'all are ready to get into the shit because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get right on up into it. Okay, y'all. So Tony O is walking the grounds or whatever. All the little niggas is out on they, you know, they're all out doing their own little thing or whatever, right? So she wants to get to know each one of the guys and have some one-on-one -on -one time with them, right? So she goes over to big nigga. Big nigga's outside chilling, you know what I'm saying? Taking in the sun being all big and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just minding his business. So Tony O goes over there to him and sits down and talks with him, whatever. And, you know, they 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 share, you know, they vibing a little bit or whatever. Check out this clip of her sitting down and talking with big nigga. Damn, you smell good. What's that you got on? Pussy. Mm. Don't make me stretch these jeans. <laughs> it's the way you say it. <laughs> big nigga, well, maybe he's not so bad. But he's still bald. And always. You eat ass. <laughs> you eat a little ass from yeah, side to side. <laughs> you eat some ass, you might win. I'm like, wow. Baby, when she says she smelled like pussy, I about damn died. You know why? Because I used to say shit. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I used to say that same shit back in the day, back in my bopper day. All females and had a little bopper day. If you didn't, your dog on lying to your damn self. He was bopping and you didn't know it. But did she ask this nigga, do he eat ass? I don't want to know that. I, I, I don't want to know that. So she gives him a little twirl or whatever. And she goes and walks off, sashays away. Y'all know how Tony O do. She was, it was a little cute little flirting scene that they was having, whatever. Before she leaves, though, he does say that, you know, he likes to give back to the community as well because she was saying that she likes to give back. And so they kind of, you know, was vibing out on that, how they both like to give back to the community. And he was saying if he was um, to get with her, that she would never want for anything, that, you know, he would take care of her. And blah. Blah, 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 all this shit that they say or whatever, right? So next she goes and she sees Cookie Monster. He's out, you know, first the nigga is sitting back and he's eating some corn chips, right? And so she asks him, you know, can she have one of his corn chips? And he gives her corn chip, whatever. It's just, ugh, it's real weird. So she goes and sit down on his lap and starts getting all flirtatious and all this shit with him. Y'all watch the shit she was doing to him. I was like, ugh. Mm. 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 Don't put a hickey everybody else might sick. Let me get out of here before we do too much over here. Don't me. Why? I want to show you a trick. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Is it going to stand up in the air at attention? Oh, shit. I want to get low and get close to it. Oh. Your dick so big it's coming through your stomach? What's going on? I thought his dick was stuck up in his stomach when he showed me. I got no sternum. Wow. When I showed her. That was nasty. That, that was, that. Why would he think she would be attracted to that? Why, what made him think that was sexy? I, 
Next up, y'all, we got Romy Rome. He just sitting over in the dining room area, chilling on his phone, tearing a motherfucking banana up. When I tell you this nigga is, he going fed on this damn banana. So she sees Romeo, she goes down and she sits and talks with him. And so they share a little convo or whatever. Hey, Romeo. Huh? I pick Romy Rome to talk to him and get to know him a little better. What you doing? Oh, hey, baby. Hi. How you feeling? Oh, I'm good. He gave me a good feeling, you know, like some old southern ass nigga, you know, got his 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 bank roll on lock. Uh, how did you feel about last night? Mmm. It was a little rough. Mm. Is that banana good? Mm-hmm, it's great. Looks good. Mm-hmm. Let me get a piece. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was rough. I mean, I loved it until I had to like. Right. I remember I got on your back. Oh, God, that shit hurt. Me on your back. You're strong, ain't it, baby? I just nibbled on his banana. So, well, when I finally get up, I couldn't get up. Mm. You know what I mean? But it was all good. I appreciate it, though. Mm. But you're really, really, really good at dancing. Mm. Mm. So much. Even though I know I didn't dance that good. So, so much in my mouth. I'm trying to get a little bit of connection from the hips. But if not, the lips are dead. <laughs> it was cool. It wasn't bullshit talk. It was like, you know what I mean? She wanted to know a little bit about me. And that was kind of like being kind of. Now, little... Romy was going ham on that goddamn banana. Did y'all see that? He could barely even pay attention to what the bitch was saying because he was trying to eat that damn banana and pay attention to the phone at the same damn time. That's a lot for that nigga. He was struggling there for a minute. You can't ask him to multitask like that. Bitch, calm down. One thing at a time. So next, y'all, she sees, she goes out and she sees Papa. Now, y'all know I like older men. You know, if you don't, now you know. He's handsome to me. I think Papa is so handsome. He seemed like he a player, though. He seemed like, oh, he seemed like he tried to be a player. He seemed like he lies a lot. I don't know what it is. He's very handsome, but he seemed like he lies a lot. And that off the rip, just like, oh, you're so cute. From a distance, I'm going to tell you, the mom, get thee behind me, Satan. But she goes and she sits. Now, mind you, on the last episode, right before Good Credit got um, booted out by um, Tonio, he tells her that, you know, watch out for Popeye because I seen him a lyric over there by the pool and he was getting kind of touchy feeling with her, right? So she's trying to fill this nigga out to see if he really feeling lyrical or what's really going on. Who else been playing with your balls aside from me? Sure, it's not my friend, Lyrica. What? Man, what, is, what the hell is going on? I'd watch out for Popeye only because I saw him flirting with Lyrica earlier today. What he did was some old player hating bullshit, you know, to try and basically eliminate the combination. Because I, what happened from that fuck what happened, okay. fuck what happened. Let's talk about us. Okay. So are we fucking or what? Why not give it a little try? Whenever you're ready, I'm ready. So what if my friend Lyrica likes you? I'm not here for her. I'm here for you. And I want you. I don't want her. And I feel that's the big misconception. I don't know. I'm going to find not, out what's she's, happening. She's, she's not. nothing. I'm saying as That far sounds as good not. to me. Because <laughs> if she uh, trying to flirt with you, then yeah. Look at this body. He couldn't resist all of this. OK. All right. But they have a little flirtization or whatever. Yeah, more than that. But they end up flirting or whatever. She ends up leaving, talking about, you know, I see you later. And she does her little twirl or whatever before she leaves. I know, I always do. Keep them lips to yourself. Oh, my God. Popeye was so sexy and so smooth, you know, so tall and virile. But at the same time, I think he wanted my friend Lyrica. You know how these nasty ass men are. They had a cute little interaction. I thought, you know, they were vibing off of each other. He seems, if she was willing to calm down and be tamed, he seemed like he would be a good guy for her. But then again, at the same time, she too damn wild. She too damn wild. She don't want to listen. She want to do what she want to do. And hell, I don't even think Wasi or Wasabi 
can tame that ass because she wild. Ain't damn them niggas that's up there with her can tame her ass. Y'all, but, you know. Next up, y'all, she goes and she sees Mr. Saucer. It's so random and so weird. He's in the backyard with some earphones on doing a saucer thing. Like, Thuck your thunny. Thuck your thunny. Thuck your thunny. It's just really goddamn weird. So he says he wants to teach her how to salsa. Y'all. Yeah, I want to give my Cuban flavor. Okay, give me a little, let me put my... Okay. Perfect. Are you ready for me? I think so. Okay, let's do it. Okay. I want to teach her salsa the way it should be, the way that I want her to dance salsa. What do we do? Okay, me Okay, 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 okay. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 that's exactly what it looked like, too. He was, ooh, ooh. He was getting that thing all up in there. I was like, ooh, back up, nigga. Later on, she talks to Lyrica, and she talks about the eliminations, right? Now, she's kind of trying to throw Lyrica off to see what she says, right? So listen to what she tells Lyrica, and listen to what her response is. Child, I was like, these niggas right here. Ooh, bye -bye. Girl, tall, sweating this shit, uh -huh. looking all greasy, oh, oh. hot, so in the you back. Now you see what I what I thought you should have been seeing. Oh, those motherfuckers in my house. This motherfucking shit. We ain't going through this motherfucking shit no more, bitch. We gonna be friends or bitch? Fuck it, let it no, go. No, it sounds really like you just keep on rock. trying to shift him on me. I if you am. don't want to send him the fuck home, I'm not interested in your man. Like oh, that. You're that. Your man, that man. I don't know. None of my man. Okay. You know, I need to know that you ain't in your heart of hearts thinking that I would play you like that. I'm just saying, all this shit, we can't be having this shit no more because we can't we gonna get into it. We can't we gonna be, get into it. We can't be having what? What the fuck? You keep talking about we can't be having something. I'm not having nothing. I ain't dealing with this shit. Oh, what fucking with me about this nigga? I don't want him. Yes, I will rock your motherfucking world if you keep fucking with me. So rock it. <laughs> so you think it's China, then? Wow. So bad acting on both they damn parts. Bad acting on both they parts. So, um, Lyrica actually ends up coming up with the idea of doing a smoking and drinking challenge to see what it is that these men actually know about Tonio. She's going to have them all out at a circle, you know, all sitting at the table, and she's going to ask them questions about her. Whoever get the question wrong, they got to take a shot, and they got to hit the blunt. I was like, Lord, she about to have one of these old goddamn men pass the fuck out up in here. So she's sitting them down and she's asking them different questions about her. Like, you know, what's my favorite color? What's, you know, what do I like? Where, what, you know, she's just asking them a bunch of different questions. So first up, she starts to ask Mr. Salsa and uh, inmate 14823. Uh, so watch this, y'all. Yes, baby. What size shoe do I wear? 37. Oh, Lord. 37. <laughs> what's that? You are absolutely right. Jury out, John. Jury out. Mrs. Tulsa did pretty good. She was impressed, actually. She was. Weird That's ass, freaky did. ass, foot fetish ass, ass nigga. Yeah. What the fuck you see in this nigga anyway? Oh, my oh. feet in his mouth. Why are you talking Please. shit right here? If I had one place in the whole wide world to go, where would I go? Say you trying to go to Tokyo. Damn! <laughs> you wrong. Drink up. <laughs> <laughs> Loser, goddammit. Bottoms up. Drink, 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 drink. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Come on, what the fuck? Here I go. Shot. Mm. <laughs> you about to hit this blunt. Now I told these motherfuckers I'm on fucking parole. You know I can't smoke. How much you want to bet that you hit this blunt? Oh, oh. 
Don't make him do it. He, he's on parole. He's on parole. Whatever his number is, maybe, maybe, maybe he'll pee negative in a drug test, and then he'll fail probation. Have to go back in the big house. Hit the shit. Hit it. Shit. Okay, hit that. Number one, two, five, 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 four. Oh, right, right. Remind me. I ain't going to jail for no motherfucking body. And she's just like being insistent. Do you remember what I said about D? D talking to you with Charlie. Fuck that shit, nigga. You like, fuck. I ain't trying to go back. I ain't trying yeah, to go back. You can't do it like that. Sucker. Oh, you that. can't do it yeah, like that. No, I ain't trying to go yeah, back. Sucker. I'm not dropping dirty for nothing. You got that, P.O.? I don't blame him. I don't blame him. D to hell with um, you find a love ASAP. Nigga ain't trying to go back to the penitentiary ASAP. That's why nigga was like, uh-uh. Nigga, I take all the shots you want me to take, but hitting the marijuana, I can't go back to the pen for that. I don't blame the nigga for that. Not one bit I don't blame his ass. Y'all Romy Rome got fucked up. I wish I could find, a, well, I did find a clip of it, but it, it erased somehow, and it was too much to go back and try to get it again, but y'all Romy Rome got fucked up. But y'all, no name? Baby, no name couldn't wait to get a goddamn answer wrong. He don't give a damn if he got the answer right. This nigga was still finna take it to the head and he was finna do what he had to do. No name. Yeah. What is my daughter's name? Black China? No. Wrong answer. It's Angela. Oh. She's Black China to you. I got tricked, but I also kind of wanted because I got to do two shots. All right, before I give it to you, I want you to take that motherfucking mask off that white nigga face beside you, because he's getting the shit off me. Uh, 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 uh. The man has no stern. It's really sad. Drink, 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 drink. Keep your cup with you, because it's about to get loaded. Yeah. Lyrics, get that nigga that blunt. Yeah. Let that nigga hit that shit. Smoke that blunt. And you better pull he it. Was, he was pull it off. Pull it off. Damn. Pull it. Let that nigga hit that motherfucker like it's a crack. Yeah. Oh, bro, I'm a dragon, dude. You're jealous, man. Aiken. Oh, I got hammered at the fucked up challenge. I think I got more fucked up than everybody else, honestly. And they was like, shit, you ain't got to ask me nothing right or wrong, goddammit. I smoke this shit. <laughs> nigga say, I'm a dragon. I don't do this for play play. I do this in my sleep, nigga. That's what I do. Y'all, she damn near trying to kill these old damn men. Dre. Uh, oh, uh, I'm rowing the boat. Rowing the boat. Rowing the boat. I'm drinking. Rowing the boat. Rowing the boat. Rowing the boat. Rowing the boat. Oh, shit. Tokyo likes to get it in. You gonna smoke this. She driving a boat with they ass. They don't know what to goddamn do. I'm like, Lord, is a medic on by somewhere? Because these men gonna goddamn fall out dead. Move your head. Smoke that shit. 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 I'm not perfect. I know I do this whole fitness thing, but every once in a while, I let my hair down. Hey! <laughs> but y'all, they were getting frat boy wasted, having a good ass time, and really, it looked like a bunch of fun. Especially, I'm sure when that liquor got to hitting their ass, I know they was all having a good ass goddamn time, and I know they was rolling off each other too. Y'all, it's the night of the eliminations, right? So she has to give her little speech that she has to do, you know, before she lets the guys go. Fun, be wild and spontaneous. Some of y'all were pretty cool, and the others were downright boring. It's so necessary to eliminate because I can't fuck all y'all one night. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, God. I was with Cookie Monster. Bitch, that's nasty. Don't nobody want to know you like that. So she ends up eliminating two guys. This is the first one she eliminates. Oh, there's no name. Yo, I'm the most drunk and fucked up out of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> You've been drunk the whole time, no name. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean, that, that happens, but you know. No name, you did absolutely fabulous. Um, you drank the most, you smoked. I'm fucking hammered. Like, I don't even know which way is left or right. You were really, really good. So what I'm thinking is you should go home and sober up. Oh man, you know. It's gonna be better women for you. You're so young. I'm a mature woman. It's not like we're going to have a lot. In co you're fun, 
but we're not gonna have a lot in common. You know, I'm a businesswoman. I like to, you know, come home, take a hot shower, lay on my man's chest, you know, rub his balls. Talk about it. And I didn't see no balls in your drawers. Get out of here. Oh. Yeah. Boy, she ended up sucking your dick. But that's fine. You're still young and growing. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go. But before going, you got to give me a surfboard move and a hug. Let's go. That's there. Show him, baby. Show him. Ew. Yeah. Make him know it. <laughs> there you go. That nigga was white boy wasted. And nigga was the frat girl wasted for real, for real. He didn't give a damn. He just came there to have a good time and try to get him some, some black cooch. Hell, <laughs> he went home drunk and high. Probably the same way he came in that bitch is the same way he went out. But y'all, you know what? I was kind of sad about the next nigga that she eliminated. I didn't see that coming. I seen Cookie Monster going before this nigga, but I was like, oh, really? One thing I, I noticed, you never lifted me. Well, come over and get it. Can I get a slight little Cinderella lift? Yes, baby, come okay. on. Okay. I have to feel that muscle, you know, a slight lift. Let's see. <laughs> oh, you straining. You got to get the fuck oh, out of here ASAP. What? Get out of here. He, I, he, I didn't he want to hurt you. Even lift. <laughs> Big nigga, it could have been Mr. Salsa. It could have been Cookie Monster. <laughs> Big nigga, you have to get rid of him. Oh, you know, well, it is what it is. But y'all, that was tonight's episode or last night's episode of Tokyo Tony Finding Love ASAP. Last night's episode was funny as hell. Hopefully, I made it entertaining enough for you guys. If y'all seen it and if it was anything that I left out, y'all already know. Drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.